uh, during World War II while they were out fighting fascists. So I come from long legacy of that. In 2018, there was a campaign in Montevillo which I supported to stop the sweeps in the neighborhood. As a result, I was targeted, targeted and doxxed by members of Montevillo Initiative and uh, publicly threatened and, and demeaned. So uh, this, in the lead up to the elections, uh, Messages were sent, were stolen, uh, emails were stolen from the Neighborhood Association and sent out about an Antifa scare in the neighborhood. And, uh, patriots, and, and, and included in the emails were words about patriots showing up. Joey Gibson then threatened to come to the neighborhood, but homeless advocates won out in the elections when Max Train stabbing hero Michael Fletcher came out. And we won. Woo! Woo! Threat in the ensuing aftermath, threats continued against all elected members of the Neighborhood Association, which may I remind you, is an official entity in the city government of Portland. Those are elected officials in the city of Portland. So my question is, why is my name included in the public messages sent out as members of Antifa with five to seven, and five of the seven people listed there being elected officials to the Montevilla Neighborhood Association? So why was that sent out? Why is the Portland police talking to people saying this is valuable information? Thank you for sending me this information, including people in our community who are elected officials who are advocating against.